Hello friends, Tony here, welcome back uh, in the last video. Let me just open the VS Code. We work with types, we created this index.ts and we created all the types we need. And in the views, we use the types here. So for the on the login, now we have only the method. And so we use the types right here. Okay. And this is okay, but we can do better. We can clean this code more. So for example, we can move the logic here in a separate file and just import the login method, what we need in here. And let's do that. For that, I'm going to, and let me just, I'm going to install Pina. You can go to Vue.js and on the ecosystem, we have Vue Router, which we have, also we have Pina. So let's go and install Pina. I'm going to go to get started. We need just to say add Pina and then we need to import this create Pina, then create a constant Pina and then just let's say app use Pina. Okay, let's do that. Let's open the VS Code. Open the terminal and let's say uh, ban add pinya. Okay. Now let's open the main.ts file and I'm going to import here the create pinya from pinya down there. Let's create a constant pinya, which is going to be equal with the create pinya. And then we can say down there app.use and you guess it, use pinya. Like this, and we are okay. Now, here you can go and Define uh, read more, define in a store, so export const. We need to add this use on the name and define store, pass in the key and the options. We have here the state, which is like this so state and return count name and so on. We have getters, actions, uh, composing stores. We have also dealing with composables, which I'm going to use something similar. So export const, the name, defining store, pass the key, and then an arrow function. And here we create a constant for the state also create a function for the action and we need to return them. So let's do that. Let's go in the source directory, create a new file which is going to be in the inside the store directory and the name of the file is going to be out.ts in my case, but you can name it what you like. Here, now what we need is to import this define store from Pina and then we need to create an export export constant give it the name so for example use out store which is going to be equal with and we need to use the define store here the, we need to pass an id which is a string so let's say out in my case and then arrow function and here now we need to define the state and also the actions. So let's start with the state. What we need is the user as a state, and also I'm going to create a is logged in state, which is going to be a boolean. And if that is true, I'm going to say this is logged in. If false, we are not logged in. So let's create a constant for the user, which is going to be equal with a ref from view, and I'm going to use a type. And we have a type which is a user type we created. Also, this may be null, so I'm going to say null here. And 
the initial value is going to be null. Yeah, now here we need to import as a types. So let's say type here. Okay, we create a constant for the user. So let's create also a constant for the is logged in. And as I told you, this is going to be a boolean. So let's say RF boolean. And initially is going to be false. Like this. Then let's create the methods. And what methods we need? Let's start with the register here. Let's create the register method. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Const register is going to be an async, which accepts the payload, which is a type of register form. So let's import this. And node, which is form kit not type. So let's import also this. We need to import also the Axios instance. So let's import the Axios, the router, and the Axios error. And now we are okay. So okay, the const, uh, const register. First we get the cookies, then we try. And if we have a success, we say router push the dashboard, otherwise we set the errors. Okay. Let's do the same thing for the login. So I'm going to cut this and move in here. Just we need to import the login form because other the form kit we imported, also the access instance and the access error. Let's do the same thing for the dashboard. Let's go to dashboard. Here we have the get user and also the logout. So let's cut them and here we call the get user every time we navigate the dashboard which we are going to fix that paste that in so try to get the user and then assign the user value with response data but because i added also the is logged in now let's say when we get the user and if that is success i'm going to say also the is logged in dot value to be true. So now we changed the is logged in to be true. When we log out, we say user value null and also I'm going to say the is logged in dot value to be false. Uh, I think let's try. I think we are okay. Now we need to return all of them. So let's say return an object with the user with the uh, is logged in with the uh, register uh, login get user and the logout okay let's save and let's start with the login remove and remove everything here not only so to remove everything, we need just to import the use auth store. And then let's say const auth to be equal with use auth store object. And here we can say, for example, auth.login, auth.login, and we are okay. Or if you prefer to destruct the login method we can do that and remove this login okay so now we have very clean login component we use form kit to reduce the html and now the pina to reduce all the script logic I think we are very clean here. So let's go to register and let's do the same thing. As you can see, we have a much too much code here, but we can remove and just say import the use auth store and create a constant. What we need here is just the register uh, function. So let's distract the register from the use auth store 
object. We are okay. Let's go to dashboard. Same thing we are going to do here. Remove everything. Just import the use uh, auth store. And here we need the user state and the logout. And for that, I'm going to say just in, uh, create a constant auth to be able with use auth store. And uh, I'm going to say here auth dot user auth dot user and auth dot logout. And uh, we need to call here the get user because we are not assigning the user right now the user is going to be null by default okay so let's go and just say auth dot get the user like this it's time to try to test this so let's go on our project here and i'm going to inspect also the element maybe let's zoom it a little bit for you like this go to console okay let's go and uh, register let's open also the terminal and just go on the back end i think we are here yeah i'm going to run the artisan migrate fresh and then let's run the composer on dev so we don't have any user now let's register the john doe so john at dot com add the password password confirmation and we can say register and yeah we are logged in and we are back on the dashboard as you can see okay let's see for the logout also the dashboard as you can see works because we display the name and the email if i click logout yeah, we logged out. We can go and see the login now if it works. So let's say John Doe had the password. Login. And also the login works. We are there the dashboard. And we have the welcome back here. Let's open the VS Code. And we moved all the logic here now we have very clean components for the dashboard login and register and i think we are okay now if you like such videos uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video uh, share with your friends and yes see you in the next one all the best